Howdy guys, it's Texas Rue here. Um, I have a jar in front of me right now that's actually contaminated. As you can see, it is has the nasty green monster that we all hate. Um, and I was actually scrolling through Facebook and I saw somebody post a comment on whether or not they can actually uh, save anything in their current bags um, and actually kind of respawn it onto something else. Um, and I know whenever you guys go out and buy your spore and you look at cultures, um, it's an expense. And then you say, oh my God, I just wasted all this time. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can actually uh, save a current contaminated spawn culture and go from there. So anyhow, as you see, the green monster is there. Uh, always a bad sign uh, for us. So what I've done here uh, is actually have, I poured agar plates yesterday. So this is just pretty much my light malt extract um with agar and i actually put some nutritional yeast inside here as well that's pretty much my recipe that i use and i also use distilled water so anyhow just want to show that to you guys really quick and what i've actually already done is sterilize these tweezers so to sterilize the tweezers i actually dipped it in an isopropyl alcohol at 70 percent and then i flame sterilized it so these are good to go of course i am wearing gloves as well so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is open up this jar show you guys exactly how to actually pull the grain uh, from the uh, a good grain from the contaminated grain and then put it to agar. So this is why agar is so important and as a mycologist you have to uh, learn agar if you want to continue uh, deep into the study of this area of mushrooms. So anyhow, cool deal. I'm going to show you this. Tweezers are sterilized. I'm going to open up the jar and as you can see here the top part is beautiful um, and go from there. So what the, I'm going to do is just actually take my little tweezers See if I can actually get a good video for you guys. And as you can see, there's a couple of different kind of growths inside there. So I just grabbed this tweezer here. I'm going to open the plate really quick. And just drop the grain into the agar dish. I would tip it and show you guys what it looks like, but I don't want the grain to roll around and go from there. So that's actually how you continue to save a, cont a contaminated jar and actually save whatever mushroom you're growing in the jar onto agar. So guys, hope this video helps you guys out. I will post a video, uh, actually I will post a picture instead of how the, the plate looks uh, after it's grown out. Take care guys, be kind, be nice.